welcome back. So my house is back to being a disaster and I want to do a full house reset or just the living zone of my house reset before tomorrow. Tomorrow we're actually going to get some results back from my husband's nephrologist and I want to have a clean home so that if I decide to collapse in a downward spiral, I'm already ahead of the game. And if everything looks great, then I'm already ahead of the game. So it's basically a win-win situation today. It's not as bad as it has been before. And as I clean today, I keep thinking to myself, gosh, this is so much easier than it has been before for some crazy reason. It's just not so hard to get through each and every little space. Also, look at how beautiful my flowers are right there. I got them from Sam's Club. So I'm just giving you the overall walkthrough of what we're going to tackle today. I do get everything done in one day. I don't have to spread it out, which I very much enjoy. This laundry room was giving me crazy anxiety. Like I just hated being in there. The living room takes about 13 seconds to reset. I'm surprised at how quickly all of the little zones go. It, it made me very happy today because I got a lot accomplished, but also kind of bothered me because I could have been staying on top of it a little bit more. It just wasn't that much effort. So I decided to set up this little cleaning bin thing so I could take it from space to space and not have to continuously ask myself where I put the Windex or, you know, I don't think I use Windex today. Huh. So I guess I didn't really need to put all that effort into finding the Windex earlier. So first things first, I, I want to, I don't know how much I'm going to get through today. I am not feeling extraordinarily motivated. I have a lot of anxiety. So I wanted to get the big things done first, the big ticket items, the ones that will visually give me the most peace that, you know, I just wanted to get those parts done. So I'm going to tackle this giant counter first. I always feel better when it's cleaned off. It, it takes up so much of the focal focus, I suppose, when you are in the main living area of my home. So getting this cleaned off was the my number one priority. And it actually didn't take that long. I do pause to set up my kids homeschool work and they do come in and out as I clean throughout the day to ask me questions and have me clarify. But yeah, even sped up, like this does not take me very long to get it completely cleared off and wiped down. Since we do end up putting a lot of food on this counter, um, I like cleaning it with the Dawn dish soap. I just feel like that would be better if my kids set their toast down or anything like that onto the counter. When they pick it up and eat it again, I'd rather they eat Dawn dish soap than 409, I guess. Then I decided to tackle the back counter, mainly because it was absolutely disgusting and unavoidable. Like when you walk in, you see my kitchen. So I wanted to get the load of dishes going. I end up having to do two batches of dishes today, but I wanted to get the first one up and running while I cleaned other portions of my home.
It's one of the narrow windows of seasons in Georgia that we can have our windows open. It was cool out. It was a little muggy. It wasn't terrible, but it's still cool enough that the gnats aren't out and the gnats are so tiny they can actually get through the screens. So very rarely are we able to open all of our windows and let in fresh air. Here I'm going over some vocabulary with my son. He wants to act out the different words and we're also trying to, I was trying to describe crease to him and to lease something to him. Um, it's the long E vowels and he kept thinking that crease because I was trying to show him his pants and he's like, and he kept thinking I was talking about wrinkles. So that was uh, cute, I guess. And then also in here, as I'm washing dishes, you'll see that I keep hitting my shoulder to my ear. It's not a weird twitch. I am also listening to a podcast that I am starting and stopping by pressing the earbud as my kids ask me questions. This comforter was, my daughter decided she was going to do a little laundry, so she brought it out from the dryer and didn't realize that it was completely wet still on the inside. It was just, I can't even say damp, it was wet. So I had to throw it back in the laundry room and wait patiently for a free dryer again. I am loving this little fur remover thing. I've been doing it nonstop now on the couch and my husband also got a new vacuum and I decided to first use that little scrapey thing because it's so satisfying, but then actually vacuum off my couch. I hate the smell of Febreze, but I also hate the smell of dog on my couch. And I was reading a book and it was talking for some reason about how Febreze used to come unscented and then it wouldn't sell because nobody cared to use it. Like it just didn't hit right except for one woman who like rescued skunks. And she said like how it would trap and remove all the smell and how much she loved it. And then they did another market research and realized people really wanted it scented. And so they added all of the scent. It's so overwhelming to me. So I Googled and found a box of unscented Febreze and that's what I've been using on my couch. And it makes me so much happier. I was able to get it off of walmart.com for some reason, I don't, I don't think I could find it on Amazon, but I am very happy that I read that story and realized that there was a better solution for me. Also, when I come back and I look at these and I'm editing in real life, I do not realize how obsessed sweet potato and Leroy are with me. But when I come back and edit, they are just an ever present force in every part of my day. They're just constantly right there following me, looking at me, seeing what it is that I am up to.
I'm thinking you were made for me. It's not my birthday yet, cause I gotta say, you're looking like a gift for me. Wrapped up nice and neat, baby. Get in my way now, don't be shy. We'll be here dancing day and night. Get in my groove now, don't be shy. Cause I got this list of my favorite things. You could be the part where it all begins. You could be the first and the second and the third and the rest of it. You could be one of the things I love. Sunday morning breakfast with my bedroom door locked. Feel like everything that has a cherry on top. Get on my list of the things I love, love, love. You could be the one I trust. Okay, so I almost didn't clean this area. It was cluttered and overwhelming, but also not important to me. I could have ignored it for quite a bit longer but what i thought back to was when i was doing vlogmas and the literal clean with me's i picked this spot for one of my 10 minute tidies and honestly got it almost entirely tidy within just 10 minutes so i told myself you know it's worth it to just put 10 minutes into this i know it's done in such a short amount of time and it will just feel better this section of the house will just feel better it won't just keep sucking clutter towards it you know how clutter just seems to create more clutter and once everything gets just a little messy you just decide to say screw it and just throw everything over there whether or not it's supposed to be over there that's kind of what this zone was becoming and so honestly i think it maybe took 10 minutes i got most of the bookshelves organized i put things back where they were supposed to go and it just, it looks so much more put together. It makes this whole room look less chaotic and hectic. We have our Valentine's Day, um, Valentine's, I guess, all assembled in that cardboard box on the big chair. We have to make our Valentine's Day boxes tomorrow for the party that's going to be on Wednesday. And then that little zone will be taken care of as well. I just wanted to show you guys how much better this little area work looks sorry not works how much better this little area works even though it didn't take very long my new desk that i just decided to turn into a tiny little horde while playing online poker over the weekend Okay, desk is tidied and sweet Jesus. Okay, this has been bothering me for a while. It has been there since we assembled the new desk and I didn't want to do it. It was overwhelming, but I decided that let's just do the 10 minute thing that we had done previously. I was going to set a timer for 10 minutes and that's all I was going to do in this area. It did not need to look perfect. I just wanted it to look a little less horrible. I also wanted to make this chair accessible again. I didn't just want it holding junk. So I have a lot of kids books that I need to find a home for because I took them off of the previous bookshelf and moved it. But I wasn't willing to go through the book, see what we need to donate or really take anything else off of these shelves. So I opened up the two shelves and put children's book books back in there. I know it looks like I just put stuff right back on that chair, but I promise at the end, I do clean off that chair because I did want that space open. And for everything else, I kind of just tried to consolidate and get it more organized looking. But honestly, after the 10 minutes, this doesn't look great. It just, for me, feels better. I don't know if that makes sense. It just, it feels a little less chaotic, even though it does not look great. And it, to be honest, doesn't look very much less chaotic. 
but I do have a chair you can sit in now, so that is a victory. So I did this whole segment earlier where I was showing you me brushing my Rottweiler to show how much dog hair was coming off of her. But I don't know, that brush just makes her go a little bit crazy to where she'll stand still for about three seconds and then just do sprinting laps around the house or try to puppy attack all the other dogs or roll around on her back and do ninja kicks. So it didn't work really well, but my husband had like vacuumed a ton yesterday. I have swept previously. She is just losing dog hair fist by fistful by fistful. It's, it's what a time to be alive. So this laundry room, I don't get to like a very beautiful state. I just get a lot of the trash out, a lot of the dirt out. But I get the floor cleaned and that was really important to me because it was incredibly disgusting. But what it, what needs to happen is I just need to have a laundry day where I do 14 loads of laundry like I've done before and just get back on top of things. Maybe that is what I will do tomorrow or maybe I will just lay on the couch and do nothing tomorrow. Who knows? Love my eyes and see the truth so you can blame it on my Seems to care that I lost it. You're the only one that's gonna tell me to go back again. Give it one more chance. Blame it. One day I will see what it cost me. You're the only one that always trusted me. And that's all I need. My remedy. Finally got a chance to put that comforter in. It takes forever to dry still. I think I had to run it twice for 20 minutes, bluffing in the middle. Oh, another thing that we had going in this laundry room that I'm not sure you saw is this is actually our shelter in place for tornado warnings. So we actually had um, a tornado warning just last week. And so all of our bike helmets are in there. I read that you're supposed to wear helmets just in case, you know, debris falls down on top of you. And it's also why we have so many shoes everywhere. They do say, you know, if you're supposed to shelter from a tornado, you're going to want to have shoes on in case, you know, your house gets hit and windows break or there's debris everywhere. You don't just want to be wandering around barefoot after that happens. So I had some, a lot of shoe clutter happening there and then the bicycle helmets, which I do put away back in the laundry room so we know where we are, well, where they are. We're coming into that spring tornado season, so I just want everything to be in one centralized location for us. stuff away and check out for the day there's no time to waste when it's 100 degrees burns under my feet won't you have a drink with me we, we head into town. so i have been 
saving this zone because I assumed that I was going to peel off this rug and throw it in the washer. So I wanted to wait until the washer was free for me. But then I do also notice that underneath the mat was getting kind of disgusting. So I need to wash off the, I guess the sub mat, I would call it. Um, so I just end up pulling everything up, throwing it in the garage for later, and then mopping this area. We're just going to have to get some cushions for underneath the chairs for when the kids slide in and out so we don't ruin our floor. And then I will be able to clear off the base rugs later. This is a new floor cleaner. I usually go with the Bona brand because it's supposed to be, I don't know, a little bit better for animals and little feet and stuff. But this is what was available at Sam's Club and it is so slippery. Okay, so I clean off my oven and as I'm doing the back part of it, I jam my pinky up underneath the underneath the back and I cut my finger. So I just kept looking at it and it stung every time I put water on it, but it was too moist to put a bandaid on and it was just a real bummer. I wanted to show you how gross my sink was. I love watching um, Clean With Mimi. I'll link her. And she always clean, scrubs out her sink. And it just looks so amazing after she's done. She has a black sink, not a stainless steel one. And whenever I watch her videos, I just fantasize about having her sink and her kitchen. And um, I just, I really love her sense of style and how she decorates her house and it's just really relaxing oh our oven's preheated if you guys heard that baby i don't need you to tell me you were wrong swear my mind erased you the moment we were done all out of me you're all out of me i'm finally free it's all good i'll be fine and you keep on breaking hearts with one two Yep, I was booting. I constantly am kicking those little lamb chops around the house because Leroy has like five of them and he just brings them from place to place because he loves them so much and wants us to see his amazing lamb. And so I kicked it out of the way and I kicked it directly into the camera stand and I thought that was really funny. So we're just going over the last little areas that I need to sweep up and yeah, that's why we're just jumping from spot to spot to spot. We are in the home stretch. I just need to get a little bit swept, just need to get a little bit mopped. I am so happy to be done. Everybody just ignore that bucket of dish towels that I have behind me. I'm going to ignore it too. Maybe we'll get some done tomorrow. Who knows?
finished product. I think it looks significantly better. I am so happy that our home is clean and it will be nice and restful for us when we get home tomorrow from the doctors. And I just, hopefully we have amazing news and we will just be able to relax and enjoy our beautifully clean home together. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I really appreciate it. Yeah, that laundry room's still a disaster. Sorry about that, guys. But the rest of the house, like, look at us. We got so much accomplished today. I am very glad that I gave myself that 10 minute time limit over here in this corner. It doesn't look amazing, but I do know that I worked on it at least. I just didn't continue ignoring it. And that's pretty awesome for me today. And this zone looks so much better. That chair will be cleared off by Wednesday. And I am glad that is a 10 minute chore. I just have to keep reminding myself that's a 10 minute chore and I can keep it and I can do it. Anyways, like I was saying, thank you so much for spending time with me today. I am so happy you decided to stop by. I cannot wait until I see you in the next video and I love you. Bye.